Hey, we are Chris and Teresa and are obsessed with all things fiber and guiding you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill, an online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and are renovating a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and our renovating progress are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one-stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things fiber. From raising the animals to the finished product and everything in between. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. All right. Welcome to YouTube number 53 and we just want to praise God that maybe every now and then you're going to hear a beep 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 of a worker truck driving by because they are working on phase two back there on the edition and we're so so thankful for that. That is music to our ears yeah. and they haven't been here for good. a while so. No, so this is really very nice. good. We had a ton of rebar delivered too semi full which means concrete's not too far behind and mm -hmm. that means my mill can get here even quicker and oh, yeah. it's just fun to see Exciting. something happening over there yeah because it's been kind of quiet yeah so this is good this is very very mm -hmm. good yes and our ceiling we we had the uh seal um, on the insulation insulation folks out and they were so kind they were they've been so good and going to they have it figured out how they're going to fix our issue <laughs> and they don't have to take the whole ceiling down they're just going to cut some trough all the way from one end to the other in between each of the beams i don't yeah. know what trough is the word but it's a, just a yeah <laughs> it, it yeah right Part where the seam yeah. is where the two panel wood panels yeah they kind of go like this they're going to cut a about 12 inches mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take the insulation out, cut the poly, take the insulation out, bring back the dehumidifiers and all of the fans and whatnot. Suck and the moisture suck out. Suck the moisture out and then and then put a piece, a decorative molding over it. So are they putting the insulation mm -hmm. back in and then doing yes. that? And, and then, then putting and then sealing it to make sure everything is sealed. So it's properly. not gonna be like a vent, it's just No, a, no. Just it's something just sealing to, it back in. Yes to cover up the cut that they're going to make. And they're also caulking along, of course, all the lights and all the, the beams. To and make sure everything's too. sealed this mm -hmm. time. Yes. So it won't look good. exactly the same. It might look better, it might look Yeah, else? we don't know. We'll it's going to look wonderful, that's what. It's going to look better, because then you won't see the seams of the wood. Yeah, the seams have bothered us. Yes, they have, so. But it's all a blessing. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's, it's all good. And we're very thankful that they're they're handling everything and taking care of everything. Yeah, we haven't had great. any problems mm -hmm. so far. Yep. And our electricity. Thank Ish. God for. So if our you watched our last Welly, <laughs> Mr. Welly. <that laughs> yes. If you watched yes. our last YouTube, we were getting shocked by everything, and so we finally brought it up to. I mean, we have brought it up to the electricians. They blamed it and we feel so bad because we were donated this amazing freezer, which was, oh, yeah. And we were, and the electricians blamed it on this freezer. So then we were blaming it on the <laughs> that freezer. That it was shooting electricity out from it. Oh my goodness. For some odd reason. And that was not it at all. It was something mm -hmm. with the grounding outside mm -hmm. and the, uh, I can't, I don't know. We, we're gonna yeah. hopefully have um, a resident Electrician. Electrician. Mm -hmm. Because it took them all of five explain minutes to explain this fix it. because yeah. we can't explain it well. Yeah. No. no. So okay. hopefully he mm -hmm. will do that for us. Mm -hmm. If not just his voice. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully good, tonight good. we'll get that. So. Good, good, good. Yep. So it can be a explain to you mm -hmm. what was happening, but it's fixed. We haven't gotten shocked. And all is well. Yeah. Yay! And my hubby yeah. is on his way. All of you Iowans, Nebraskans that, um, Watch our YouTube, um, hers for you all, because a big, big storm has moved through there and tornadoes and straight line winds, it's not good. And my son's roof, half of his roof blew off and he's a lineman, so he um, he is busy, busy working, trying to get power restored, because of course power is, is gone out everywhere there. So my husband 
headed out today to fix the roof and um, that the house back in order while he's working. Your, and, uh, grandchildren yes. and daughter-in-law are staying in a hotel and yep. hopefully coming back very soon. Here. So they'll so. they'll stay in Fargo here soon mm -hmm. um, with her mother who lives in Fargo. Her mom and dad live in Fargo and I'll get to see them. Well, everything gets put back. Yeah, scary deal though. Scary, scary deal. I'm mm -hmm. sure a lot of you are in the same boat. Oh, mm -hmm. oof, 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 oof. Yeah, and you were. We've been busy doing some mm -hmm. renovating in the house since everything has been removed. We have room in our basement again. I used to be everything that I brought here. It used to be everything that I needed to put the kids together and do the shipping out of my basement so it took up a ha more than half of my basement the, f the couch kept moving closer and closer to the TV so that the kids had to sit right up in front of it because I needed more space and they would have to make a nest on the couch for all the wool it was in the way so it's finally empty everything's here now so we're fixing that up putting new flooring painting um, and then I had some kids move out so I have new office space upstairs, so we're putting new flooring in there. So that's what I've been busy with, um, working on that. Mm -hmm. And I've been making insoles, because we are selling insoles left and right. So many, a lot of customers bought them at our, at our open house and have discovered how amazing they truly are. And so we have a lot of repeat, repeat sales. Mm -hmm. So we are making them left and right. So, and they are available on our website. And both, here. Yeah, and here. Both the regular mm -hmm. and they're 100% alpaca. So they're super cozy. And also the insoles plus, which has activated charcoal, cornstarch, and baking soda, felt it into the middle of it. So totally mm -hmm. destroys the flavor, which is wonderful. All made by us, mm -hmm. by, with local alpaca. Local alpaca, and mm -hmm. we cart it and we felt it and the whole cut them out. And, and I know there's a lot mm -hmm. of locals that came for our open house that are coming back. For more and more, I feel like. Yeah. And they are available online. If you're interested. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't listening to it because I was talking to my daughter-in-law, so it's very rude of me, but I've been trying to get a hold of her because the phone lines are all down yeah. all across Iowa, so that was her. So okay. all, all, well. well. all is well. All is well. So thank God. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we had two questions today. One of them was on the cheerleader bunnies, the little bunny that we had, that we raffled, which was so adorable. They wanted to know if there there's going to be more. And I do think there will be. They were fun to make, or she was. <laughs> and yeah, I think there will be. I don't know exactly when. After snowman season, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy working on snowmen. And yeah, I, I hope to have more. Stay tuned here on Facebook, and I do send out a, a bunny alert email. You can sign up for that if you go to my website and look under the Bear Creek Bunnies. You'll see that, and I'll post it below too. Um, and you just, I send out an email every time I make a new one that's for sale. So you can do that. Yes. Yes, and then the big question, which caused us to do a little research yes. um, was why residents left the city of Nome and what did they do here to make a living and and yeah we reached out to our resident historian so we had the, the Nome used to be quite large yes um, four elevators and yeah, lots, lots of, homes, lots lots of, of businesses, businesses mm -hmm. and this big school for um, the mm -hmm. kids that were here they had to build a bigger school yeah. At one point, so in 1916. Yeah. And so we we asked. Randy, yep. Our our resident historian. He his yeah. Farmers. People were able to tread. The farming is what most, most folks did, and that's a hence the four elevators that were here. Um, people were able to travel to shop, and that for businesses, as folks were able to drive further, they went further and. Mm -hmm. I've heard the area businesses and too many fires, especially the 1920, and was never rebuilt. So many we lost the big hotel and yeah, a the lot hotel of other Yeah, the hotel and then the whole west mm -hmm. part of town mm -hmm. burned up with burned. the hotel. It was a bad deal. Yep. And farms yeah. went from one every quarter section of land to probably one every section. And so much smaller families had no opportunity, so they had to move to bigger cities. 
Now one farmer can farm what it took many farm families to farm 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. Very, very true. And then, this we were, kind of exciting. So we have the Gnome History Book, mm -hmm. and we did some research in there, and um, this caught my eye because it's a picture of our theater that we own, mm -hmm. too, uh, being built. And so I read about that and found even more answers to our questions mm -hmm. within these paragraphs. In 1949, the hall, or opera house, as it was called, burned. And that was a beautiful, I'll share a picture. Mm -hmm. This fire was caused by lightning. Everything in the building was lost, including the moving picture projection equipment. A new hall was built as quickly as possible and as economically as possible. A great deal of volunteer labor went into the construction of this steel and concrete building. The projection equipment was replaced, and the Saturday night shows continued for a few more years. At about that time, though, some influential people persuaded the village to discontinue dances on moral grounds. This was a mistake, and probably more than any other single factor caused Nome to decline faster than its neighboring towns. And we found that very interesting because it was the answer yeah, <laughs> to there the was. question yeah. right in there. Yeah. Yeah, one, you know, one of the answers in there. Mm -hmm. uh, the loss of the hall also figured greatly in the decline of Nome. At the time of this fire, Nome had a water system complete with water tower in the planning stages. When the hall burned, it was deemed more necessary to have a hall than a water system, and since they could not finance both, the hall won out. Had the hall not burned, and had the water system been installed, the story of Nome could have been considerably different. It's, it's just crazy, because what are we now trying to work on, trying to get in the city the of Nome? The water tower. The water tower. Yes. I mean, it's just amazing how it all comes around. Yeah. That we own the theater that yeah. caused the water tower not to happen. <laughs> yeah. It's just great. And, and built in really 1949, which, which is the same as the gym. Is the gym that we're in. It just, and so that, cool. I mean, mm -hmm. and the story of Gnome. <laughs> Who mm -hmm. knew? I mean, the story of Gnome would come yeah. to now that yeah. the water tower would finally come and the school would be. Yeah, and now we're doing dances. Yeah, I know. This I mean, next next Thursday we're gonna have our first concert, and hopefully they'll be dancing up the storm, which I'm sure yes. they will. So. Yeah, it's awesome. So, very very interesting. Yes. So, and we also found a whole bunch of stuff on the school. Yeah, we could yeah. we could read for days. Yeah. So we it's might have so to cool. share one of these poems next. Time. Yeah, the poem is really cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and so, then yeah. we are sitting behind. Last Thursday, we made some purchases at, I'm not even gonna try to say the name. Codenates. Codenates. In Lisbon. Which it's closing. It's closing. Mm -hmm. And so we um, got some of their furniture. Yeah. Which yeah. we're pretty excited about. Yeah. This, this which you can't see, but I'll take you a picture one. of it. Get a and then this, back this. Yeah. which houses so my cool. no felted animals. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we got another hutch, and then mm -hmm. two, or three. 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 It was the main piece. If anyone ever ever was in there, it was the main piece that they sold jewelry out of. And we're going to put gnome. And it used history. to be. It came from Fargo. Yeah. And they used to sell like men's, a or men's something? clothing yeah. store. And they had ties on top. Yeah. It's amazing. So, so it's cool. going to come here. It's not here yet. It's going to go be in cool. our store in the school. Mm -hmm. I got to share the head. Oh yeah, and then we got these little <laughs> antique head things like this. And there's a. Uh, this is an antique. Yeah, but we got a foot. We got a foot. We're living size. And that that metal one, you're not going to be able to pick that up. But. Get up one hand. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, and this this little bust that's displaying this gorgeous shawl that Libby made. And mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of neat finds. So. And then last year at this time, what we were we were excited. I was looking at pictures of. Mm -hmm. on my phone of what we were doing last year and mm -hmm. one of the pictures was of the lift lifting up the structural engineer to look at the roof of the school because they were undecided if we should just fix the roof or if we should replace the roof mm -hmm. and so i have pictures of that and that was pretty exciting that something was finally happening there and we do have a new roof on the on the mm -hmm. school that happened last fall new shingles mm -hmm. and repair job on the gym yeah mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's that happened in the year where we were undecided what we were mm -hmm. gonna do and then it's done. And um, also there's pictures of what we were doing. We had cleaned out underneath this, the landing yes. in the basement 
and that was the custodian's mm -hmm. little room there and it was just full of stuff still mm -hmm. and we cleaned it all out shoveled it all out found a lot of treasures mm -hmm. and um, so now we wanted to show exactly what it looks like now yeah that's and we, where we would be next because there was two cisterns that we discovered one of them was in the while we were walking the yes we didn't know they were there and then we heard plop plop of the stuff falling into water and so it was falling around this little board that was over this hole that our leg could have gone in easy i don't think our whole body would have fit in but it would have been nice but yeah. why there was a hole like that we don't know but it's, yeah. so and then the gonna... cistern is completely uncovered now one of them is that mm -hmm. we're gonna go look at it. we're gonna share yeah. a little video of that yeah so here we go so oh first of all before we go and do that shannon congratulations you are the youtube number 53 winner so all you need to do is contact us through the contact form on homeschoolhouse.com or bearcreekfelting.com say you won the youtube prize on youtube 53 and give us your shirt size and your address and your name and we will send you a prize yeah now we're gonna go do a little exploring here is one of the basketball hoops. Yay! This is going somewhere special. We don't know where. But somewhere. So all of this was removed. Yep, the little cute door. And here's one of the manholes for the, one of the cisterns. And the, all the floor has been removed down here, so it's just dirt. Yep. And there's temporary steps here. The other steps have been removed because this all needs to be reported.